How's it going, Cancer? I hope everybody's having an amazing day. We are going to get right into your reading. I am asking you to channel in the person that you are thinking about, taking that deep breath, reaching out to your spirit guides, to the universe, and channeling in the energy towards me. This could be someone you're dealing with, someone you're in separation from, someone you're crushing on, um, someone that you're confused about the connection. So do take a moment. Reach out to your, the universe, channel in that energy. I'm going to pull from multiple decks. So do stick around to the very end. I'm going to make it as personal as possible. And um, as promised, I will be randomly choosing those two people to win the two love readings for the closing out of August. So um, those that participated, check your notifications. Two people will be hearing from me. And then after this session, I'm going to start doing the all the blessings coming your way for the next 30 days. It's going to be a general reading and then there's going to be love at the bottom of it, you know, at the end. Um, I'm going to start that the next session and I will announce the next giveaway. If you're new to my channel, I am so grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe so you can take part in the monthly giveaways. Like I said, we're closing out August, but by subscribing, not only will you get notifications of all the readings that I post, but you will be able to take part in the monthly giveaways. All right, Cancer, go ahead. Channel your person's energy towards me. Archangels, Guardian, Angels, Holy Spirit, Universe. Please come and give me the most accurate messages that Cancer needs to hear regarding the person that they are channeling their energy towards me. All right, you've got quite a few, and we're going to take them. First out, future focus, strong sense of self and feeling hopeful, awakened and becoming aligned. I am devoted to returning to you. I'm starting to feel hopeful about the future because I see you being a big part of it. I love that. I feel this person has definitely gone through a lot of introspection and soul searching. You know, what they kept those blind that blindfold on for or those rose color glasses you know some things that they left they felt comfortable living in an illusion because it meant that they didn't have to see it face on deal with it close out that cycle it's basically it's like a low-key runner type energy my obsessive thinking got the best of me I allowed my emotions and uh, I allowed my emotions and others to control and dictate my actions towards our connection. I finally understand I need to trust my intuition. And look what happens with binoculars going in, seeing things at a closer view and being very truthful and honest. All right family ties. I really feel like maybe a negative influence from someone's family, someone's friends, maybe even co-workers. This could be two people, you know, obviously single parenting, whether it be separation or divorce, just having a lot of responsibilities. I miss the family we created or the family that could have been. I realize I made a mistake by walking away from my happiness. You are my life partner, my other half, my happiness. We have seven, seven here, guys. Six, six, and seven, seven so far. And then we got juggling, cancer energy, and spirit is sending you signs and synchronicities. I just got done saying seven and seven and six, six. We have 11 here. 65 is an 11. 13, a 4, and an 8. Cancer energy. Person could have been juggling multiple jobs, multiple responsibilities, like I stated. Not having the time or maybe even the energy to like worry about furthering a connection. I was always so hot and cold with you, and I know that was confusing. Our connection was too much for me to handle, 
and it was just not the right time. I was not able to deal with it, but I have a feeling that spirit is sending signs and synchronicities to your person when they're thinking about you, getting their attention, and I feel that you're receiving signs and synchronicities. All right, go ahead and ask me a question regarding this person. Cancer, send me your question, and I'm gonna pull an answer. All right, we have success moving forward in the right direction and spirit is saying yes like yes there will be success there will be forward movement this is just a pause a time for retreat a time for new movement that doesn't mean it's time wasted it means there's so much growth for both of you to focus on yourselves see those amazing messages from our spirit guides when we're in this energy all right i'm intrigued let's get it cancer and no, I have no cancer on my chart, and my fiancé is not a cancer. All right, let's see. Twin flames. Deep soul connection. You're getting to the energy where you're actually going to complement one another. Camera. Reminiscing. Looking at old photos. You could possibly be doing that too, cancer. Nostalgia. Wedding rings, OMG, higher level of commitment. Dragonfly, being lighthearted, things coming to light, adapting to the change that is coming, and the Grim Reaper. See what I mean? I feel a cycle needed to close out. It's what needed to be released? It's going to be different for each and every one of you. Maybe both of you just met each other at a time where it was poor timing, you both had just too much going on. You made such a lasting impression on one another. You know, you pop up in each other's mind from time to time. It was just needed time for both of you to go in separate directions. Does it always make sense why that has to happen? No. And basically, in my eyes, it sucks. But it's for that to happen, that success. All right. Let's get deeper. We're going to do their feelings and emotions, their thoughts, the overall outcome, <clears throat> and the action that they're going to take cancer. All right, spirit. Feelings and emotions that this person has towards cancer in the present moment. They want to make an amends. They're missing you. They're feeling defeated. I really feel, see how this person is stabbed in the back? I really feel in some way your person dealt with a struggle that felt they felt betrayed. It set them back. It had them put on those rose-colored glasses. but now feeling defeated by being apart from you or not showing up the way they want to show up for you. Page of Swords takes it back to the camera, reminiscing, watching from afar. All right, let's see. Where are their thoughts, spirit, when it comes to cancer? The sun fell out on the floor, but upright, upright, not in reverse. The sun, happiest card of any deck. When they think of you, it's such pleasant thoughts. Yeah, they're thinking about taking that leap of faith. It's like you bring a song to their heart. And I know it sounds corny, but my dad used to say, step outside with a, each and every day with a song in your heart. I never knew what that meant until I got older. I was like, he's such a dork. Like, why does he say that to me? Until I got older and he got older. And now I'm like, now I know exactly what he means. Page of Wands, taking that leap of faith, falling in love with the leap of faith that they're about to take. And it's towards you. Look at the bottom of the deck. Two of Cups. Divine Presence. All right. 
What action is this person going to take, Spirit, towards Cancer? The Moon in Reverse and the Hierophant. Remember I said Divine Presence. I still feel this person is going through like a, a lack of journey in their life right at the moment. I feel like they're fantasizing about you. I feel like they daydream about you. But I feel some inner strength here that's going to, you know, it's like still working through their lack of direction. Still working through those rose-colored glasses is what I'm feeling with both of these in reverse for right now. But it does not mean that they're not going to make any action towards you. Because remember, I said the divine presence that was circling around the two of cups. There will be forward movement. They will reach out to you. All right, let's see. Spirit, what will be the overall outcome between cancer and the person that they are channeling in? The chariot, the travel. Might be a distance away from them, different state, different country. It does not matter. When the universe wants to align the two of you, it does not matter where you are, where they are, who you may be dating, who they may be dating. It doesn't matter. The two of swords. There it is. Making that progress. And I have to say it is baby steps. Making that progress slowly to become aligned with their soul and with what their soul wants. Taking themselves out of this crossroads to make this offer, to make this decision. When they come towards you, it may start off as a small offer just to put it out there to see if you respond. And I feel it's taken some time for them to reach out to you. But it is grounded. Earth energy is pentacle energy. It's, it's grounded. It's stability. It's got the potential for long term. But I do feel that there are currently some restrictions on them. And it's like they're trying to dig down and find that invisible force of strength to overcome specific things in their life. All right. Whatever this struggling is, it's like it's 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 coming through hardcore like it's just not the right moment but it will be all right let's get deeper The sun twice in your reading. The three of coins. For some of you, you may have met this person by doing business with them or around work. Ace of cups. Beautiful so far. Seven of coins. Taking your time. Good things are worth taking your time. And reevaluating. Yeah, reevaluating where they lacked energy. They're rejuvenating their energy, they're replenishing their energy. To come forward with this love offer, the Ace of Cups. Spirit, why is the sun here twice for the, pan the person that Cancer is channeling in? The Champion of Wands. They're coming in to sweep you off your feet. I feel like they're going to tell you that they regret not taking it a step further. Not having, you know... Fighting for you when they had the chance. But I mean, if I'm being honest, when, when you align with someone and it's not the opportune time, what, what can you possibly do with that? Right? This is reaping the rewards of all of your hard labor. You've spent some time closing out cycles and growing. Cancer. So have they. You did not meet this person by accident. And both of you are manifesting being together. There will be communication. It literally says communication, having a bright idea. Um, 
expression, thoughts. Remember when I said that this person misses you? I really feel like you met them at a place in their life where they were just worried and succumbed by so many things. They were feeling loss on a great level. But they're coming in. They know what they want. They're making their opportunity. And they want to restore where, they're, where they place lost hope. All right. Messages from this person to you. We're going to do closing messages, Spirit, from the person that Cancer is thinking about and channeling towards me. Things. Let me get that. Let's go slow and take our time getting to know one another. One another. Life has been hard and we paid the price. And that's that's the energy that I really feel has been detrimental to them. The stars are aligning for us. It's almost like they needed this journey. They needed this separation and this, this temporary pause to figure out their feelings. For this journey to lead them back to you, Cancer. All right, we have, we have a past life connection. Awesome. We have a past life connection. Memories are surfacing, either consciously or subconsciously. Yeah, you are reincarnated, reincarnated in this lifetime. The two of you have been together in past lifetimes. And you both are manifesting being together. I can't validate our love in 3D, which is in the present, in 3D, until I understand our spiritual love in the 5D. That 5D realm is held there for twin flame. So soulmate energy I'm picking up on and twin flame energy. Give me time to explore this aspect so that I can be a strong spiritual partner for you. All right, guys, let's get Scrabble tiles. We have N, R, W, S, A, I, T, B, D, blank scrabble tile, E. And I just heard the words, say something or I'm giving up on you. And that may be how you're feeling, Cancer. All right, anytime you want me to tune into Just Your Energy, click on the link in the description box. It'll take you right over to my Etsy shop. Over there, I offer a variety of readings. There is a end of summer sale going on, so you can take advantage of that. Um, and then go ahead and make sure you check your notifications. Two people will be hearing from me to, end, to close out the August 2024 giveaway. Go ahead and subscribe, those of you that haven't done so already, so you can start off September taking part in the giveaway. Love and light, guys.